And the race to unseat Senator Gordon Smith. Three of the Democratic candidates, along with an independent, debated today in Monmouth. K2 Salem Bureau Chief Malika Johnson brings us the highlights. You've got more money than anyone else running. The moderator asked Jeff Merkley this question. Well, why aren't you uh, so far ahead that this race is over? While Merkley has the blessing of the Democratic establishment and more money than his opponents, a recent K2 poll shows he is trailing Steve Novick by double digits and is statistically tied with candidate Candy Neville. But in terms of the broad spectrum of American, of uh, the Oregon public, uh, the race doesn't really begin until you get on TV. Independent candidate John Fronmeyer scoffed at Merkley's response. I am shocked that you would think that TV is the way you should win a race. Well, John, I'm shocked that you distorted my statement. If you had done the math, you can't reach every single living room in the state. The race often begins by the time when someone goes on, on TV. Merkley just took out a $250,000 loan on his home to, quote, communicate with Oregon voters. Money, he says, will supplement his campaign donations, an answer Novick doesn't buy. I don't think that anybody takes out a loan against their home if they think that they're winning the election and everything's going well. At the debate, candidate Candy Neville, a Eugene realtor with no real political experience, was asked why she would make a good U.S. senator. But what they don't seem to have is a good, strong backbone, some good, strong common sense, and a good, big mouth, and that is what qualifies me. And Fronmeyer had to fend off a question that, as an independent, he will be a spoiler, a term he says is in itself partisan. It suggests that either the Democrats or the Republicans have a lock on this seat and deserve it. I believe that the people of Oregon own this Senate seat. And KT News will be hosting its own Democratic Senate debate on Sunday. It will be live and starts at 4 o'clock. Live in Salem, Melika Johnson, KT News.